Hey everybody, today we are going to fix an incredibly expensive pizza. So much so that it will probably be impossible to make it more expensive. We'll also make the most budget-friendly pizza possible using cheap equivalents. We are going to the most expensive store in the city. The first thing we buy is hefty tiger bronze, octopus tentacles, one lobster, a jar of caviar. We cut off a piece from three expensive heads of cheese. We take mozzarella, also super expensive burrata with truffle, mushrooms, onions, green onions, cherry tomatoes, and a 200 gram slice of the most expensive five-year-old jamon. Expensive red wine for the sauce, pineapple juice, canned tomatoes, Expensive eco flour, oregano, truffle honey, the most expensive butter, cream, nuts, celery, and Jack Daniels whiskey. We take this all to the register and we wind up with a check for $450. All that for one pizza. Now we go to an affordable supermarket. We buy the cheapest seafood cocktail. We choose one of the smallest chicken fillets by weight. We find cheap beef slices that are on sale, processed cheese, discounted mozzarella, Russian cheese, and another small piece of cheese. Two champignons by weight, a bunch of greenery, one tomato, tomato paste, budget mayonnaise, yeast. That's it. We take the ingredients to the checkout. We wind up with about $7. We start cooking the dough. For our expensive pizza, we pour out a bag of yeast, add in warm water, add salt and sugar, and mix it up. The dough for our cheap pizza starts the same way. The difference is that we use organic flour for the expensive dough. And for the cheap one, the everyday one, priced by weight. Ordinary oil goes to the cheap one, olive oil to the expensive one. The expensive ingredients will be kneaded by a stand mixer. And the budget ones by hand. That's it. Two doughs have already been kneaded. We cover them with cling wrap and leave them for an hour to rise. Now the dough is risen and ready to work. We dust the table with flour. We tear off a piece of the expensive dough smash it with our hands and roll it out with a rolling pin. We also sprinkle flour on top. Fold the dough a couple of times. Transfer to a baking sheet and unfold. Cut off the excess with a pizza knife. We form a crust. With the cheap dough, we do the same thing. The two pizza crusts are ready. The pizzas will be with four types of toppings. To do this, you need to make three different sauces. For the Jack Daniels sauce, cut the onion in half. Remove the dirty outer layer. We make horizontal and vertical cuts. Chop the onion into cubes. We take a frying pan, add olive oil, and chopped onion to it. We put it on the stove, fry the onion until golden brown, open a jar of pure pineapple juice, and pour it into a frying pan. Another 2 thirds cup of water, quite a bit of teriyaki sauce, and a little soy sauce. Two tablespoons of lemon juice, garlic powder. We open the Jack Daniels whiskey and pour out just a little bit. 300 grams of cane sugar. Evaporate until thickened. After cooling, the sauce will be the desired consistency. 
The second marinara sauce begins with us cutting the onion into cubes. Now into the frying pan until golden. We take one stalk of celery, cut it into strips, and dice it up nice. We send the celery to the frying pan and fry it up a little too. Open a jar of tomatoes and pour them into the pan. We open the expensive wine and pour half the bottle into the frying pan. Now sea salt with dried garlic, pepper, oregano, balsamic vinegar, three bay leaves, and now mix it all up. When the sauce is reduced, we mix it up using an immersion blender. That's it, the marinara sauce is ready. For the third sauce, we take tiger prawns. We tear off the head of each of them, cut the shells off the top, and take out the esophagus. Add a little olive oil to a frying pan, we spread out the shrimp, and off they go to the stove. After a minute, turn them over. Another minute goes by, and the shrimp are ready. We move the rest of the shell. We don't need it anymore. It's already given its taste to the meat. Done. Very finely chop the shrimp meat, almost turning it to dust. Put a dab of butter in the frying pan. Melt it and add flour. Mix it up and pour in the cream. All this is peppered, salted, and when the cream begins to thicken, we put in the shrimp and mix that up too. Now our super shrimp sauce is ready. Pour a little Jack Daniels sauce onto the crust and spread it over a fourth of it. Now the marinara sauce too. Smear it around as well. Now the creamy shrimp sauce. The budget version will have two sauces, mayonnaise and tomato paste. Smear them around. That's it, you can move on to the toppings. I have a jar of expensive white truffle. It costs $69. Open and scatter the pieces on top of the Jack Daniels sauce. I also have a piece of ostrich. Its cost price is seven and a half dollars. We cut off the layer of fat and skin. And we cut off a piece that disappears by itself. Only the most perfect meat is cut into pieces. For the cheap pizza, we cut a chicken filet into pieces. All this is peppered, salted, and drizzled with oil. We send the pieces to the grill to fry. First the chicken, then the ostrich meat. After a minute, we turn it over. And it's done. The ostrich slices. And small mushrooms go to the expensive pizza. And for the cheap one, we put the champignons into slices and spread them out. The chicken pieces go on top. The main ingredient on the seafood section will be this lobster. We send it to boil in boiling water. It's so big that it doesn't fit into the pot. Therefore, after three minutes, we turn it over so that the other part is cooked. That's it, the lobster's cooked. We tear off its tail, claws, 
and small legs. Squeeze the meat out of the legs with a rolling pin, and the claws will have to be split. From the tail, we take out the largest piece of meat. Cut the tail into pieces, and spread those on top of the shrimp cream sauce. We take the tentacles of the octopus, cut them, and spread them out. On the cheap pizza, we spread the budget-friendly seafood from the packet. For the expensive pizza, we open the five-year-old jamon, spread the pieces on top of the marinara sauce. We take cherry tomatoes, remove them from the twig, and cut each tomato into six parts. We spread them out, Open the bucket. We take the burrata out of the brine. This is a little pouch with stracciatella cheese inside. In our case, it also has truffle. We make an incision with a knife. We squeeze out and evenly distribute this fibrous cheese. For our cheap pizza, we open the beef meat, slice it, and spread it out on the pizza. And the budget replacements for stracciatella cheese will be mozzarella. We tear it into pieces and spread it out. Cut an ordinary tomato into slices. The last quarter of our expensive pizza will be four cheese. We take these super expensive cheeses and grate them on a grater. We mix them together and fill the remaining free space with them. Let's break moldy cheese into pieces. And spread walnuts. And open unrealistically expensive truffle honey. We take a little bit on a spoon and try to transfer it to the pizza. For our budget pizza, we take our cheap cheeses, including processed cheese, and grate them too. We mix them together and spread it out. Now we just have to add a little green onion to everything and cover with a layer of cheese. The pizzas are almost ready. We send the expensive pizza to the oven and the budget pizza to the grill. After 10 minutes, they're ready, but not all the way. For the expensive pizza, we open the arugula and spread it on the part with the jamon. We open the sturgeon black caviar and spread it on the part with the seafood. And we'll wind up with food gold. Such a jar costs $75. First, we pour out some gold, but we have the most expensive pizza, so we pour everything out. At this point, the pizzas are definitely ready. We cut them.
Let's try the budget four cheese. Yes, it's delicious, but nothing special. But the expensive four cheese is just wow. Firstly, the cheeses themselves are very tasty. And secondly, truffle honey, nuts, and cheese, just a divine combination. Now the budget pizza with seafood. No, it's not very good, because the seafood is of poor quality and it seems to have been frozen a lot of times. But the expensive seafood pizza is just an extravaganza of tastes. Lobster, octopus, caviar, and our super shrimp sauce. The budget mushroom pizza. That's delicious. Just a delicious pizza. Expensive mushroom pizza for tin heads, of course, is better. Sweet Jack Daniels sauce, truffles, and ostrich meat. Very refined taste. Now the budget pizza with beef. Also not bad. But honey with jamon, stracciatella cheese, and arugula, of course, is much tastier. Yes, this pizza is just delightful. From the very beginning, it was clear that it would taste better. Now let's compare how much they cost. To fix this expensive pizza, we spent $465, plus $75 for truffles, and $75 for food gold, and $7.5 for a piece of ostrich. Our expensive pizza comes out to a total of $622.5. And the cheap pizza came out to $7. The expensive one is 89 times more expensive than the cheap one. Is it 89 times tastier? I don't think so. But for this taste experiment, it was definitely interesting. If you want us to do something similar with another dish, then write in the comments and get those thumbs up. If we get 300,000 likes, then we'll continue on with this segment. All right, guys. See ya.